With the official launch of the Lumix S5 2X, it looks like every camera reviewer on YouTube has jumped on the bandwagon to give their two cents, but they're all wrong. None of them know how to use the autofocus system correctly. How do I know this? Because I spent hours watching every review there is. Okay, five, I watched five. But still, first off, none of the big YouTubers even use a Lumix camera as one of their daily drivers, unless they're paid to do so. So when they talk and use the autofocus system in the Lumix, you'll see the AF miss its mark from time to time. Well, that isn't the system's fault. It's user error. Unlike Sony or Canon, where once the AF system detects you, it keeps you locked on, the Lumix does the same. It's just that it needs a little bit of additional moral support from your side. In Lumix cameras, as soon as your subject enters the scene, a yellow box appears on their face, just like for Canon and Sony. The only difference is you have to click on the yellow box and then it starts to have four crosshairs around the box. This confirms that the AF lock is now on. Even if the subject enters or exits the scene, the AF will be locked on to that person. For example, in Potato Jet's review, we could see that the S5 II loses focus on the subject's face multiple times. Now, yes, I'm sure that was a pre-sale model with none of the firmware updates, which Panasonic is really good at releasing. But apart from that, we could see the system struggling to keep focus on the person's face. However, all Gene had to do was just click on the touchscreen to lock the autofocus on the subject's face. So how do I know this? Because I've been using the Lumix S5 Mark I with the contrast-based autofocus system on multiple client shoots. In fact, that's the camera I'm using right now to shoot this video. Apart from just a handful of times where the autofocus system was overwhelmed due to poor lighting conditions, once again, user error, the autofocus system has actually never failed me. Now, by no means that I learned this trick all by myself. There was actually a YouTuber by the name of Luca Bono who made a video all the way back in 2021 talking about the original S5 Mark I with contrast autofocus which when it came out had the worst autofocus ever. He did his own tests and made the incredible discovery that by clicking on the touchscreen, we activate the autofocus lock on the subject and that solved everything. If you wanna learn how I created this cool effect where the text is hidden behind an object, then click here.